the staff of the animal farm. <laughs> what do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Oh, come on. Somebody's on the phone. Hey, thank you for holding on the line. Dirk the Fulton and Forgotten Chipmunk speaking. How may I help you? This is Savannah, and I have been waiting to call you for probably about a month now. Oh, Savannah, thank you for waiting. I hope it's You're worth welcome. it. I hope I hope I live up to your expectations. Yes. Well, thank You're you. probably my favorite person ever. You're probably... my role model. Really? Yes. Did you say I was a role model? Yes. You're my role model. You know, darling, I'm not sure that's the best course of action for either one of us. I mean, you know, I can understand why you'd want me as a role model. I mean, who wouldn't want me as a role model? But, you know, I'm not entirely sure I'm, I'm qualified. You might be. I'm not very, you know, I mean, really, let's be honest. You know what a role model is? Yeah. A role model is someone that you want to be just like, and you see them, and, and you, want, you think that they do things that you would like to do, and I'm not sure that's good. I want to be a chipmunk when I grow up. See, there we go. Yeah. Now, I think it's best if you stick with it. It's very hard to be a chipmunk. I mean, it's mm -hmm. not easy. You know, avoiding larger predators, foraging for nuts. I mean, none of this is easy. You know? No. I mean, I make it look easy, true, but it's not easy. It's not easy being brown. I bet and not. And small and furry. Especially the small and furry part. It's not easy. Bye. Well, all right. Good luck with the whole then good luck with the whole having me as a role model thing. Okay. All right. I will. Make good choices. Okay, I will. And no touching the llama. No. Okay. All right. Thank you. And never watch an hour of the chipmunk movie again. Yes. Okay. There we are. All right. Well, then we are in agreement. Yes. We have an agreement. We have an accord. Excellent. So I suppose we're done then. I guess so. Are you sticking with me as a role model? Yes. I mean, I suppose it's better me than the llama, right? Yes. Right, okay, all right, there we are. Any port in the storm. <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you can't find a teacher or another grown-up, I suppose I'll do in a pinch. Yep. Maybe I could be your backup role model in the event that a real role model was unavailable or something. Yes. All right, well, have a lovely day. Okay, you too. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. You know, that's a lot of responsibility being a role model, Kenny. That's true. I'm not sure I'm up to it. It is a big responsibility. I mean, that's what being a role model is. You, you, you're responsible for making a good impression on others. You have to do the right thing because other people will do what you do, you know, and that's important. Wait, wait, wait. So, so people can't just love me unconditionally? Well, I mean, I'm not saying they won't love you unconditionally, but, you know, you have the responsibility of making a good impression and doing the right thing. Wow. I mean, it's a big job. I'm not sure I can accept that. Well, I don't know if you have any. I'm going to call my agent. Yeah, there's got to be a way around that. If a professional athlete can do it, I can do it, right? I guess. Maybe I'll call Terrell Owens or something. Hear the Animal Farm with Kenny Curtis today at 3 p.m. East or noon West on Kids Place Live, Sirius XM Channel 78.